Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I uploaded a video. I was basically not able to find the time and topics to make videos on. However, recently I got a Raspberry Pi as a birthday gift. The one that I got was the Raspberry Pi 4 with 8 GB of RAM. It has got 4 USB ports, 1 Ethernet port, Wi-Fi, 2 micro HDMI ports which supports 4K, Bluetooth and the power supply is through USB-C. It is basically a very good computing device in a very small form factor. It has been with me for a couple of weeks and I plan to use it mostly for home automation stuff using Home Assistant and a bunch of smart devices. But before I do that, I wanted to check a few things. In fact, the first thought that came to my mind was, will I be able to develop and deploy Django applications on the Pi without facing any issues? Now, you must be thinking, what issues? Well, the Raspberry Pi uses the ARM architecture, which is completely different from the x86 and AMD64 architecture they use in normal laptops and desktops. As a result, software that runs perfectly fine in normal computers may not work with ARM computers. The developer of the software needs to build the software in such a way that it can run on ARM computers as well. Hence, I wanted to check if there would be any issues with Django on Raspberry Pi. Here is how it went. I started off with two SD cards. On one, I installed Ubuntu Desktop and on the second, I installed Ubuntu Server. The development of the Django app would be done on the Ubuntu Desktop and then the deployment on the Ubuntu Server. Next, I wanted a code editor. I usually use Atom on my MacBook for coding because I love it. But unfortunately, Atom is not supported for ARM yet. It is still marked as an open issue in GitHub. So with Atom out of the way, I checked VS Code. Thankfully, it can run on ARM. We just need to download the appropriate ARM64 file and install it using software installer. I was also able to install Sublime Text using Snap. With a couple of code editors installed, I started developing the Django app. It was a simple application to create, read, update, and delete details of students in a class. I installed Django, created the project, created the application, made some changes to the settings file, created the model, added URLs, views, and HTML templates. All of this went smoothly without any issue, and this is what we got at the end. You can view, add, edit, and delete students. It's a very simple application. But it has been a very good experience for me in terms of Django. The only problem for me was that Ubuntu on Raspberry Pi was very sluggish. I'm using a SanDisk 64 gig Extreme SD card. I guess I need to use a portable SSD instead of an SD card to get better performance. But anyways, that's not a Django problem anyhow. Next, let's see how the deployment went. I switched the SD card to that of the Ubuntu server, booted the Pi and SSH into it. First, I updated and upgraded the operating system. Then, I installed PostgreSQL as the database. Then, I created a database and added a user for it. Then, I created a virtual environment to deploy the application. I then cloned the app from GitHub. I then changed a few settings and applied some migrations. It worked well with no issues. Next, I installed Gunicorn and Nginx and did the necessary configurations. Everything worked well in the case of deployment and remained the same just like in normal computers. In the end, what we learned is that there are no major issues in terms of development and deployment. This has also given me more confidence in deploying a real-life Django application to an ARM-based server. For example, an ARM-based EC2 instance provided by AWS. They are cheaper. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there is anything else you want me to do with the Raspberry Pi, then do drop in your suggestions in the comment section. We'll meet you in the next video. Have a good day.